Hey, I'm Seven with Weld.com, and today we are going to be unboxing the Everlast Hatchet 60 Plasma Cutter. Got your standard operations manual. Pretty straightforward, no thrills, main tech specs, parts, and uh, diagrams of how to set up the, the equipment. Got a cool little pack with some fuses, some tips, some electrodes, and obviously some air fittings. Cool thing about this machine is you've got these quick connects. These are awesome. Uh, it's the first time that I've ever used them, but it made it pretty simple. Legit just set it in and it's got the teeth on the back side. Pretty rad. Say the machine itself. She's light. I dig the color. Here's our torch. We're fortunate enough to actually have a standoff. This right here, I mean, you can get these obviously online or any welding supply should have these standoffs. That is allowing you to have that distance uh, away from the material so you are not destroying the electrode. Inside here, electrode, tip, cap. It's pretty straightforward. I do like the, uh, the flat design of the cord. We've got our safety mechanism here. That way we're not just blowing this out all willy-nilly. I uh, always tell people, for some reason, a lot of folks like to just start popping the trigger off and uh, not realizing that they're screwing up the, uh, the tips on this. So for all of you, use this. Don't just start popping off, it's not cool. Just gonna connect this up real quick. Pretty straightforward. Here's where our lead is going to go. Then we're gonna connect our torch. This unit is a 60 amp plasma cutter with dual voltage capability with 120 volt output rated at 30 amp max at a maximum output in either 120 volt or 240 volt is 35%. This means the unit can operate for three and a half minutes out of 10 while cutting at 60 amps. However, if you cut the amps down, the duty cycle improves and you'll be able to run 10 for 10. The machine itself is pretty lightweight and compact in size. The torch itself is an IPT60 torch made by Inatech. It's a patent design and there are several manufacturers that currently use this torch. Post flow in this machine is set automatically. The unit is perfect for up to half inch to five, in, five eighths inch daily, but it is known to cut up to an inch thick material. We'll definitely give it a whirl here. This unit is equipped with a low air pressure safety to prevent it from cutting and doing damage to the torch. That doesn't mean you should be mean to it. I think it's time to turn this thing on. So, something handy on this is that you've got your PSI set in this right now. If I were to press this button, it's going to give me an accurate reading of the PSI. Remember, we were looking somewhere between 65 and 72. Feeling pretty good about that. Only time will tell. We'll start cutting and see what happens. Now, something to note is that we talked about, or that I wanted to talk about, was you've got your cutting guide here to the left. All equipment nowadays has some sort of guide. You know, whether it's a welder, you open up the lid, it has a guide. This right now has its guide right in the front, so it should make it pretty easy to, to follow along. 
Uh, first things first, it says that, you know, at 20 to 25 amps, we can cut up to 1 8 inch steel. So what I've got here is some 1 8 inch steel that I definitely want to try out. Checking our cutting guide, we are going to be using the 0.6 millimeter tip. We will be cutting 1 8 hot rolled and we will be cutting it at 20 to 25 amp amps. I'm going to shoot for 25. So I just finished a 1 8 inch cut. Uh, 25 amps with the 0.6 millimeter tip and we got a pretty clean cut here very very minimal just like the smallest little fleck of anything um, great cut ran smooth I'm pretty happy about it we are gonna move it up to quarter inch hot rolled that's gonna require 25 to 30 amps with the 0.8 millimeter tip All right, we've got quarter inch at 30 amps. Pretty clean cut. It ran real smooth. So we're gonna cut three eighths, hot rolled steel, 0.9 millimeter tip, and we're gonna run it at 40 amps. Up close shot, this was the 3 8 hot rolled and diagonal cut. We're on a 5 8 material. We're going to use a 1 millimeter tip and we are going to push it, uh, let's push it to 50 amps. Yeah, so this was 5 eighths. This is cold rolled. We ran it at 50 amps. There's our cut. Just hitting it at diagonals for fun. All right, we are going to be cutting a three quarter inch cold rolled. The setting is recommended 50 to 60 amps. I'm gonna shoot right away for 60 amps and I'm going to use the 1.1 millimeter tip. All right, so this was the three quarter inch cold rolled. That is kind of the max material that we could or should be cutting with this machine. As you can see, running it at 60 amps with the one millimeter tip, uh, you're still gonna get some, some dross here. So uh, overall though, cut seems really, really smooth. Should be able to knock this off with uh, a grinder or a file, but that's what a max cut looks like. Overall, this is a great machine. She's affordable. It cut through pretty much everything that I ran it through up to one inch. Uh, once again, you know, we're not running these machines at max at all times, but in a pinch, I think that this machine can stand up to whatever I put it through. So, so stoked to continue to use this thing. And uh, yeah, have fun. The manual can be found on the Everlast website.